Morning guys, welcome to day 41 of the 100 days challenge. Uh, today is feeling really weird. Um, I'm in this weird little funk at the moment and I can't seem to get myself out of it. Um, everything seems to be like annoying me when it shouldn't be. Like it's just normal everyday things that's just grinding my gears a little bit. Like uh, my mum came around today um, unannounced. I was in the middle of a hangout with some friends um, and it just buggered up. You know, like I was having this nice conversation and then Cooper went crazy and she came around. And like, don't get me wrong, I love my mum and I love seeing her because I don't get to see her that often. Um, and it's always good to catch up. But it's just like, ah, oh, could you just message me so I could have been prepared. Um, and then AJ, um, she's just been crying a lot this morning, just been fussy because she's just sort of at that stage. Um, and again, like I'm in the hangout, or like I'm just trying to concentrate on my work, um, or you know, Jazz is getting ready uh, to catch up with some friends, so um, you know, I've just been holding AJ and stuff, but it's, again, it's just like, I keep getting distracted from the work I'm trying to do, and I'm trying to get into this focused mood, and I can't get into it, and it's just pulling me into this funk, um, and it's really bringing me down a little bit, to the point where it's making me feel like, um, like Jazz is upset with me as well, when she isn't, um, it's just frustrating. I get, I get into these funks sometimes and like I'm sure I'll pull out of it by tomorrow. I just want to get out of it now so I can just get on with my day. Um, it's 12.30 now. I'm on my way to get some lunch. Um, I think it's probably needed for me to just get out of the house for five minutes. Um, two, like Jazz was also meant to be going out soon, um, but that got sort of pushed back to 1.30. And I had planned in my head that I was going to do some more recording for um, next Wednesday's video um, because the house will be nice and quiet at that point. I don't have to worry about distractions. Um, it's really got me thinking about something that I thought about a while, like a long while ago, about eventually just having my own studio, my own private space. In the morning, I can get up, I can go to work for the whole day, distraction free, no one to interrupt me. 5 30 comes, I close up the studio, I go home and that's it, that's my day. Um, I have like a regular scheduled work week um, and I need a studio space like that. I really, really need something. Um, I feel like maybe this year if things really do go well, I'm gonna need that, I'm gonna need that escape. Because um, I'm so used to a structured work life that if I don't have that um, soon, um, or especially when I'm doing freelance and working from home when my family's home all the time, it's not going to work for me. It's really not. Um, last year it was great because I was home all the time um, on my own. So I could have this, you know, nicely structured day. But I don't know. I'll work on it. I just, yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll be out of this funk and then I won't really care. Um, I just sort of need to vent. All right. Lunch is acquired. I'm on my way back home. Um, glad I got that out. Just... I think even just talking about it definitely helped clear my head. I'm ready to just go eat some food, reload on some energy, and get back into the work. Um, it's not to say I haven't done any work today anyway. Um, I, uh, I've gotten a little bit done, but I think in what I had in my mind by lunchtime, I would have accomplished. I definitely haven't. Um, I put that down to a couple of things. Um, I slept in this morning, which I never do. So I lost an hour and a half of work. So by the time I realized it was nine o'clock, first I thought, oh man, where's the morning gone? Um, but now that I think about it, I'd only been awake for an hour and a half and probably only been to the computer for an hour, um, which is, just isn't a lot of time. So um, I think I just put a little bit of pressure on myself without realizing that, hey, I maybe we just needed a bit of a rest. Um, and then the fact of time um, is a bit different today than what it would have been on a normal day for me. Despite all that, I did some work. Um, up until this point, I finished three panels of uh, page four of the anthology, which means I've got two and a half pages left to ink. Um, I honestly really want to get two pages done today. If I hammer through it, I can. Um, I need to try and fit in a video there somewhere. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to have time to do it next week for uh, a Wednesday upload, unless I do it first thing Wednesday and then just get it up straight away. Um, and I want to keep this an ongoing thing 
Um, it's just been, I don't know, a silly week where um, I'm trying to schedule things for myself, but my scheduling is just not going well. And the last two days being so hot didn't make it easy. Um, there's no way I could have filmed yesterday. It was just far too hot. Um, doing the art classes, like I said, was just a, a chore. So the rest of my day will be focused at least on finishing page four. I will um, assess the situation after that to sort of see what I think I'm going to be able to do. If I don't think I'm going to be able to get another page done, um, I'm going to focus on monkey junk a bit more and get the script tightened up. Um, I also need to get some stuff done on my Etsy store and get new designs up as well, which I've been procrastinating on doing too. Um, and maybe some primary images for Monkey Junk as well. I want to do some headshots of the characters and some of the particular items that will be in that. Um, and I also want to do um, character sheets where there'll be like different poses that the characters are doing, sort of like you would see in an animation. Um, those are the things I need to play around with. Um, so not only just for me, but that'll be great promotional material to post. Um, and I can spread that out over time because things are really just going to be 100% Monkey Junk once it actually kicks off. Anyway, I'm home now, so I'm going to go eat some lunch, and hopefully that will cheer me up, and my day will be a little bit better. I'm happy to say I've finished page five, and I've only got one page left ink, so I got started on that, and I've done two and a half panels here. So it's been pretty solid. Um, I made a mistake here where I actually inked this, well, designed this whole thing backwards and everything was going left to right. And I was talking to Jeff and he's like, no, 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 it needs to go the other way. So luckily I was able to flip this and fix it up. And you guys can see it a bit clearer there. Um, otherwise everything else is seeming to work so far. So uh, definitely learning a lot while I'm working on this story um, in regards to you know, having everything prepared for monkey junk. Um, like here, probably could have been flipped where they were running left into the, uh, running right into the cave, because this really throws you off into like, they're running right here, but then they're running left here, which does make sense to how the story runs, but it just sort of throws you off a little bit. Again, with the monster, he should have been running right, uh, to help with the reader, um, continue that flow. So, if this was a manga, like Jeff said, it would make more sense, but... Um, yeah, these are things I need to work on and keep in mind, um, and just working on different angles um, to show to show that. I don't know, definitely a big learning curve here, um, but I'm having fun doing it. Still, a lot of things to add in with the grey tones to really make this page pop um, and make it. You know, everything sort of is merging in a little bit, which um, yeah, I'm learning, but I'm having fun with it. This is probably the most fun I've had with a comic. But I think towards the end here, I was getting a bit overdrawing these monsters, um, and I sort of rushed it a little bit. And saying that, like, I actually really, really enjoyed drawing this guy here. Um, I just liked the flow of the body there. It was a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, these guys are fun to draw. So I'll miss drawing them for sure. But um, this has been a fun project to work on. I'm, I'm looking forward to moving on to Monkey Junk now, um, more than ever. Um, and yeah, to show you guys where I'm at with the logo, I don't think I actually showed you guys what I did. Um, but that, I was having to play with that this morning, and I'm actually having a bit more fun with it than I was earlier. Sorry, I'm just trying to find it on the computer. It's up here somewhere. It's up here somewhere. Ah, uh, there it is. I'll load it up into Manga Studio, which is here, and bam. Alright, so this is the logo. Um, practically finished. What I'm probably going to do is lighten this up here, which is not that layer, but that layer, which is currently just set to a soft light. So what I might do is set that to normal and drop the opacity a little bit, so it's a little bit more apparent. Yeah, so that's really nice. I'm really happy with that. I'm going to save that. Um, but this is looking to be the logo. I might fix up the junk section, but it was meant to look pretty messy, so... I'm semi-happy with it, but this just gives a quick idea of what the comic's about, um, using the gears to sort of let people know that there's an element of um, tech involved in the comic. Um, I really like this nice rigid font here. It just looks really nice, solid, um, professional looking, but then when we throw junk in here, it just gives that feeling of, um, I suppose, sort of anarchy thrown into the mix. Um, yeah, really happy with it. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I do have some other ideas for it as well, but 
this is the one I'm going to stick with for now. Um, I'll probably do like parody logos over time, like that'll just tie in with the comic. Um, but for now, just this one here will do the trick. One of the other things I wanted to show you guys was um, I was going to order some stickers online, and then I realized I could probably make my own stickers. So I downloaded a whole bunch of uh, stuff here, like some stuff that I thought would be like a cool, cool stickers to have on my drawing table just as like inspiration and because I'll be filming on the table um, it'll just add a little bit of an element to like what's on there so um, for some reason a few of them didn't work out properly uh, the printer was just playing up but there we go so now I've got a couple of cool stickers and then if I just chuck in like a piece of paper here while I'm drawing um, the camera will pick up all those little stickers just as like an added little background to while I'm drawing just to make the uh, the shot a little bit more interesting. So, like a little example like that, I'll be drawing here, and you get the cool characters and stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to buy a few more and just build up over time um, what the stickers are. We've got some fun ones. Got O'Reilly from Dr. Slum, Finn, of course, more O'Reilly because I love her. Um, there was Materia Randall to go with the Silent Bob, but that for some reason didn't work out. Yeah, anyway, that's me for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll catch you all tomorrow for day 41. 42! Yes, day 42. Um, hope everyone's doing well, um, and I'll chat to you tomorrow. Goodbye. It's that damn rabbit again. Come on, dude. I did not get the rabbit this time. He lo I lost him. I'll get him. That sun is annoying. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm just at the shops now. It's like 20 to 8. Um, I need a haircut, finally, get all this stuff chopped off. Uh, I'm going to go visit my friend Sam, because she's a hairdresser, and I was going to talk, say this while I was walking down to the hairdressers, but there's people everywhere, and it just shows you how much of a pussy I am when it comes to vlogging in public. So there we go. There's even people walking past looking at me a bit weird. Can't handle it. See you guys soon. Well, haircut, I don't know if you can see it, it's pretty short, I don't know how much I like it, but I never like haircuts when I first get them, so probably in two weeks, I'll love it, but for now, yeah, I don't know, haircuts just make me feel fat, just feel like the roundness of my face really shows, which is why I always like to have long hair or wear the hat, so I don't know, I'll get used to it I'm sure, but yeah, uh, done. I'm out for the day. Thank you guys for watching. See you all tomorrow. Have a lovely day.